I've been looking into women in Wales for a little bit of time now. Um, it all came about when we were at the Maris Castle doing some research and I couldn't find any women to talk about because we want to be equal, we want to talk about everyone in history. And after doing some digging, came across a woman who was working here called Cecilia of Kent. She'd been brought in to do some work at the castle and a woman helping her. She was being paid the same amount as a male carpenter and she and her helper were actually building massive, massive catapults, weapons here at the castle. And that just made me think, God, Gosh, what else were the women doing? They weren't just preparing campfires, they weren't just doing tapestries, they were doing hard labour and really cool stuff too. And since then I've gone on to find other women too, such as at Carnarvon Castle, there were a series of women labourers who were doing kind of hard craft as well. It's been a little bit more difficult with, with women, it's, they're not generally celebrated in history books and when they are it's usually the, the top, top tier of women, so we might be able to find out about queens and duchesses and things like that. Um, and a lot of the time the people that you and I I would connect with, if you don't mind me saying, we're probably not the kings and queens of these worlds, kind of normal people. Um, and they're not, they might not make it into the history books and women even less so. So it is difficult to actually find information on these people. Alongside the portraits, they also feature in a brand new children's book called Welsh Women Making History. And so that also, you can see the pictures, you can see the history, you can see how we've reimagined them in 2020.